in this video we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest minimum lines to represent a line chart we are given an array of uh, where each element contains two integers day i and price price i what is the stock price on a particular day and we need to find out the minimum number of lines needed to represent this in a line chart so we will have to form a line chart and we need to find out what is the minimum number of lines that will be required to form that line chart so let's try to understand this with an example let's say this yeah, like these are the five points one two three or uh, seven points three four five six seven and uh, this the line chart will look something like this so how many different lines are there one two three four and five so total five lines are required to represent this seven points in a line chart so how to solve this the solution is very simple what we have to do is we have we just need to find out how many line segments are how many different line segments are there uh, to form this line chart basically we will just simulate what we have to find out now let's say the slope of this line is m or m1 okay and let's say the slope of this line is m2 so in case m1 is equals to m2 it deny it de it denotes that uh, these two line segment the f the line segment joining the first and the second point and the line segment joining the second and the third point are parallel because their slope are equal right and there is a point like the two is common between these two right and this these two line segment so these two lines are parallel and they are passing through a same point so it means that these two lines should be like these three points are should be collinear otherwise there is no way where two lines are parallel and they have a common point so that's the basic idea we will find out the slopes of adjacent points let's say uh, m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 and now we will just see how many point like how many parts are there where the slopes are changing so for example let's say the slope uh, like m1 is 1 m2 is 2 m3 is 1 m4 is 1 m5 is 1 m6 is 2 so for this kind of uh, situation like if we find this slopes the answer would be uh, the number of changes so here there is one change right so uh, we will add one to the answer here there is one change so we will add again a one to the answer and again from here to here there is one change so we will add one to the answer for this so in total there are three changes from the initial line like there will be an initial line so like initially the answer will be one so in addition to this one there are three changes so total line segment required would be four uh, if the slope array would look something like this so hope you got the intuition now the only thing you need to find out is how to find the slope so there is a very standard formula for slope y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 where x1 y1 is the coordinate of the first point and x2 y2 is the coordinate of the second point okay now if you find out this value there are different edge cases that you need to handle first of all you need to take care about the precision when you divide these two integers it can be in decimal right so you have to take care about the precision second thing is this x2 minus x1 can itself be zero like there are uh, there are line segments which can be like y equals to some constant and there are line segments which can be x equals to some constants right so this y2 minus y1 next to minus x1 if we divide them there are several edge cases that we need to handle so instead uh, a better idea would be to just uh, maintain a pair instead of maintaining a array of integers let's maintain a array of pair of integers so first will be y2 minus y1 second will be x2 minus x1 okay now we will just find out whether the adjacent pairs are equal or not but again there can be different uh, edge cases that we need to handle so first of all let's say uh, y2 like the value of this uh, y2 minus y1 is 4 and x2 minus x1 is 6 so this 4 comma 6 is also equals to 2 comma 3 right similarly this is also equals to minus 2 comma minus 3 
like all of these are actually equal but the values are not equal so for that what we will do we will try to find the gcd of this x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1 and we will bring that to its lowest uh, possible form so for this 2 comma 3 and now for the scenarios where both are negative we will just make them positive and now there are, can be scenarios like 2 comma minus 3 right so for 2 comma minus 3 and like there can be scenario like minus 2 comma 3 so for this kind of scenario we will what we will do we will say that okay always keep minus like if one is minus and one is positive always keep minus to the first front so if if the slope comes to be 2 comma minus 3 we will convert it to minus 2 comma 3 okay so what we have done is uh, we have done two things first let's say we maintain the like differences x comma y we will let's say the gcd of x comma y is g so we will maintain x by g and y by g now if both of them are negative we will make them positive now if any one of them are negative we will make this one as negative instead of making this one so by doing this we are making sure that the adjacent one are actual actually equal okay so let's look at the code quickly uh, it's very simple as discussed we are just finding out the slopes uh, one more thing we have to sort the prices as well because it is not guaranteed that uh, it will start with the lowest x so that's where like this step is uh, uh, important now we will do we will just uh, find x and y as discussed we find out the gcd we divide them by the gcds now if both of them are negative we will make both of them as positive if x is positive and y is negative we will make the opposite we will make always make x as negative and y as positive and we will simply push this slope uh, into the slope array now as discussed we will just find out the number of changes so uh, we are iterating until they are same like only the slope is same and adding one to the answer for each such each such scenario so hope you got the solution if you have any doubts in this uh, solution please post them in the comment section below i will answer that if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you